Hello Mouseworks fans, I'm back with some more videos uh, after a little hiatus and moving and doing some other stuff. So, uh, got a few new things going on, um, but one of them this uh, video is going to show, I'm going to do a quick review of something new on the market. What this is, is testers, color shift, uh, paints, but this is in a big bottle and it's awfully thick. Uh, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. It's uh, blue and purple color shifting paint, metallic. So it says it'll go to any surface, blah, blah, blah. It says it's aqueous type color, you know, cleans up with water. So we're going to uh, first test it with some uh, different thinners to see if I can shoot it through an airbrush. That's step one. So uh, without any further ado, let's uh, test this thing out. To me, a black, gloss black here. Don't need much. And some Tamiya thinner. Okay. And we'll mix that up. Get it plenty thinned out. Okay. So now that's ready to shoot. So we're going to shoot a piece of an old car model here. some of this color shift. So we'll put a little bit in there. I use just some water to thin it out. Maybe about 50-50, maybe a little more water. Let's see how well this thins out. To spray. looking good it's dispersing those little particles so let's give it a shot okay so after letting it dry it, uh, and actually using the hairdryer to dry it a little faster, that milkiness disappeared completely, went clear. And it came out pretty darn well. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera is the problem, but see, uh, there it turns purple, and there it turns blue, and then kind of a reflection there, but, but yeah, it actually turned out really nice. I'm kind of, uh, kind of surprised. You can see on the front of the hood that's purple looking. And so it's not a lot of color shift, but it is enough to make it really interesting. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clear coat on it and see if that adversely affects anything. Oh, there we go. There's some purple. Blue, purple. Okay. So we'll clear coat it and see if it kills any of that uh, shine. Okay. I'm going to mix up some Tamiya Clear. Some of their uh, XF22. I'm not using any super clears or anything like that because I just want to see how... This would work with just basic stuff. So, stuff you can get at almost any hobby shop. Put some thinner in there. All right. Okay. Okay. Mix that up a little bit. Get that moving and thin. Okay, now I did have to clean up my airbrush real good because those particles are pretty big in there. It didn't look like it uh, before, but uh, yeah, you gotta ideally use a big needle um, or spray in a wide setting and then clean it out really well so those particles don't get stuck in there. Okay, so I've got the clear coat on there, and uh, it did not affect the uh, color or the uh, integrity of the paint. It actually, if anything, it made it more 
uh, spectral in the color change. So you can see it's uh, it's pretty glossy there. I mean, I could polish it out and get it a little glossier, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it passed the test. I'm really kind of impressed. Now this is a concave form. Uh, it will obviously look a little different on a convex form on this side of the the hood, but uh, I wanted to test it and see how well it did on uh, on the hardest surfaces that w it would encounter. So, anyways, so I am uh, very happy with it. And I will think I will uh, keep it and not trash it. And uh, Rustoleum finally has something that's worthwhile, uh, that's decently priced. This stuff usually buy it from other companies. It's very expensive in the color shift stuff. So, anyways, uh, that's the test on that. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave comments uh, on my page, what you think. And uh, there's a couple different versions of this paint. There's the blue to purple. There's uh, kind of an aqua turquoise type color and then there's gold so anyways I uh, hope you enjoyed it all right Mouse Orange fans I hope you enjoyed that review of the uh, testers uh, let's see testers color shift paint which is something new on the market as of this video um, works as advertised which is usually a good thing to see I usually test paints out and I always see a flaw but this is a uh, Kind of nice that it thinned out with all those thinners and uh, gave quite a bit of lateral capability on doing that and uh, the piece came out really quite well very very impressed with the way it like, color changes it's hard to hard to show the color change on there we go on the camera but yeah look at that that's pretty cool yeah and sparkly so anyways uh, very happy with that hopefully uh, testers will uh, or rust oleum will start believing in testers line once again um, it's nice that you get this big huge uh, four ounce bottle for about nine bucks um, pick mine up at uh, Michael's uh, but it's most hobby shops that have it so anyways um, that's about it and uh, I will uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get all my updates uh, any support uh, do do go to uh, my website mouseworks.com m-a-u-s-w-e-r-x dot com to see some of my products that uh, I use to offset the cost of doing these videos so I can use all the support I can get and any comments about this uh, video or any of the others just let me know and uh, keep on building those models man all right talk to you later